We are Rima Tip Top, the world's largest manufacturer of repair materials for passenger and truck tires. We pride ourselves on the quality of our tire repair materials and our training in tire repair. Today, we want to show you the products and process of installing a two-piece tire repair using Rima Tip Top branded products and tools. When you notice a foreign object in a tire that has been brought in for repair, the first thing to do is identify the injury. There are certain parts of the tire, like the crown area, that can be repaired, but there are also limitations, like the shoulders and sidewall, that are not repairable. Hello, I'm Michael Frail from Rima Tip Top North America, and today you will be viewing the procedures for installing the Rima Tip Top two-piece tire repair system. Let's start by showing you the tools that will be required for this procedure. The following Rima products are Rima Tip Top's Tire Repair Sealant, Special Blue Cement, Pre-Buff Cleaner, and your Rima Universal Repair Unit and Stem. The following hand tools, an awl, tire crayon or paint stick, a brass brush, pliers, a tire scraper, a skiving knife, and a ball bearing stitcher. Power tools and specialized tire repair equipment make your job a lot easier. You will need a tire spreader, a low speed buffer with an adapter that fits a 36 to 60 grit rasp, a Rima carbide cutter, and a vacuum. Also, for safety, you need to be wearing gloves, safety glasses, and hearing protection. The two-piece tire repair unit can be used for truck, light truck, and passenger tire. It is mostly used on passenger tires, as you will see in this demonstration. It is important to check every tire for run-flat condition and secondary damage. Check the inner liner the outside tread area, and the sidewall. Inspect the tire carefully. The largest suggested injury repairable in a passenger tire is one quarter of an inch in the crown area. A truck tire with other tread damage, damage in the shoulder area, or sidewall should be sent to a full service repair facility for proper repair. Find the injury and mark the inside and outside of the tire with the marking crayon. Locate and remove the penetrating object from the tire. Inspect and check for any unseen tire damage or ply separation using an awl. Check to determine the angle of the injury. A passenger tire with damage at an angle greater than 15 degrees from vertical should be repaired with a two-piece repair unit. Apply pre-buff cleaner around the injury. Using the tire scraper, Remove contaminants such as dirt, tire lubes, and mold release lubricants from the area so it may be buffed. The area should be slightly larger than the repair area. Repeat this step until the surface area is clean. If the area is not thoroughly clean, the repair unit may lift from the inner liner. Drill the injured area by using a carbide cutter and a low speed tool with less than 1200 RPM. Drill from the inside out two to three times, then drill the outside once or twice. This should give you a nice and clean round hole free from any debris. If necessary, cement the stem using Rima's special blue cement and cement the injured channel. Insert the Rima stem into the injured channel and pull it through with pliers. Be careful not to pull the stem all the way through the hole. Trim the excess stem on the inside of the tire only. Use the correct repair unit template to mark the area to be buffed on the inside of the tire. Lightly buff the repair area using a low speed buffer with an 18 to 36 grit buffing grasp. Make sure to not use a buffer that exceeds 5,000 RPM, or it may scorch the inner liner, which could cause a repair failure. If at any time during the buffing procedure, the radial plies or body plies are damaged or exposed, the tire should be replaced. 
clean all debris from the buffed area inside the tire with the brass brush and vacuum around the buffed area several times to make sure the area is perfectly cleaned. This will help avoid contamination in the buffed area. Do not use a pre-buff cleaner on the repair area after you have buffed to avoid leaving residue which can reduce adhesion. Next, apply a thin, even coat of the cement to the buffed area. Use a swirling motion to apply the cement. Completely cover the buffed area to ensure a good bond between the tire and the repair unit. Let the cement air dry. Never use compressed air, hair dryers, heat guns, or any other artificial methods to aid the drying time. To assist the drying time, Rotate the tire so that the injury is on top between the 10 and 2 o'clock position. You may check the cement for dryness by touching the edge of the cemented area with the back of your knuckle. If it feels tacky, then you're ready to proceed to the next step. Once the cement is dry, relax the beads of the tire from the spreader. Now, apply the universal repair unit onto the injured area. thoroughly stitch from the center outwards. Continue to stitch to make sure the repair unit is completely stitched to the inner liner and adheres securely to the buffed surface area. Check the repair area for any defects and proceed to apply repair sealant to the entire buffed area and repair unit. This makes a complete seal around the repair. Cut the excess stem off so that it's flush with the tread. Do not pull the stem while cutting it off. Then you are finished and have completed a full process of repairing your tire with a one-piece repair unit. Follow the steps carefully to ensure a safe and secure ride.